Yeah. Yeah. All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, as always, we're going to turn towards Jerusalem, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, and Kabadash. Right, Yahweh, the true name of our Heavenly Father, who the word we know is God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, and our Lord and Savior, who the word we know is Jesus Christ, Bashem, and Kabadash, in the name of the Holy Spirit. And it's the inspiration given to us to edify those that have the ears to hear. Right, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. The men who taught us this truth and peace and salutation to you, sincere and humble brethren, faithful and diligent preaching this word with fear and trembling. All right, also shalom warm to the subscribers that listen to the spirit of power you have watching you how we shot. All right, we're going to get into, uh, you know, a topic pretty much dealing with the truth and the lies. As you see uh, entitled, The Best Kept Secrets and the greatest lies ever revealed. And that's what we're gonna get into. You know, some of the things that, uh, you know, we teach uh, week in and week out, all right, are actually the, 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 the best secrets that's ever been known to man, okay? And ultimately, it don't matter uh, how many people out there walk by, or how many people watch a video, if the Most High doesn't want to reveal it to you, meaning it's the truth, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, he'll just put a block on you, you know? Like I said, the Lord, he, he'll close your ears and your eyes, right? And we can be looking right at you, and you can you can see us speaking, hear us speaking, and it won't register, man. But you will subscribe to the lies, why? Because the lies are more comfortable, all right? The, 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 the truth about the most high uh, wisdom not to understand about his judgment is that it's, it's the hard truth, okay? It's not easy to receive the true wisdom not to understand of the Heavenly Father, but those things that these preachers teach in your uh, every week Sunday services, all right? Those sweet, those smooth things, that prosperity doctrine, all that, uh, that, that honey, you know what I'm saying? All that honey, you know? But we're gonna get into it, man. Lord will you be edified. Uh, get that uh, Amos. This is Amos chapter 3 and verse 7. And it reads, Surely the Lord, Yahweh Shemel power, will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Now read up verse 6 and then read it all the way through. This is Amos chapter 3 and verse 6. And it reads, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city, and the Lord have not done it? And that's the secret that the churches don't teach you, right? That the Lord actually does evil, right? But it's a righteous evil. It's a necessary evil. Give me Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. See, the story that they tell you is that there's God and then there's Satan. And Satan, the devil, is going against God. And that's not true. Right? All right? The, the spiritual demon Satan is uh, uh, working for the Father, man. All right? The angel that uh, does exactly what the Heavenly Father tells him to do. Plain and simple. Go ahead. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Right. Dealing with judgment. That's how the Heavenly Father got his. There's a time and place for everything. A season and a time for everything. It's gonna get into it. Go ahead. A time to be born. Yep. A time to die. A time to be born and a time to die. So people die every day, right? Who sanctions those deaths? Who who sanctions the death of these people? Who allows the death to take place on the earth? Alright? Just read it. <laughs> Shall it be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? The brother can get uh Go ahead. <laughs> this Psalm 68 and 20. He that is our power is the power of salvation. And until you how about Shema was shot, the Lord belong the issues from death. Hey, the issues of death belong to the Lord. Alright? So they get their issue from the Lord. Go ahead. You got something? 
go ahead. It's Isaiah 45, 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. See? Because he's uh, uh, omnipotent. All power belongs to the most high, man. The water for that, man. You know? Go ahead. This Ecclesiastes 3 and 2. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted. You got something on? Yeah, that, that you know the Lord control all, man. Go ahead. This is Amos chapter 3, verse 6. <laughs> Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Yep. Shall that be evil in the city, and the Lord has not done it? Right. You know? So, when you see uh, all these different tragic deaths take place in the city, what you really should be doing is uh, fearing your heart, bashing your heart shot. All right? That's why we give all praise to your heart by seeing y'all shot when niggas get put to death, man. Especially knowing that they were wicked when we hear what the matter was, when we hear the conclusion of the matter of why death was brought upon them, right? Give me Romans 6 and 23. Call and read it when you get there. Keep going, Karan. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 2. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted. Keep going. A time to kill, a time to heal, and a time to break down, and a time to build up. Mm -hmm. A time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance. Go ahead. A time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones together, and a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing. Go ahead. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rend and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta let the scriptures come out. Go ahead. A time to love and a time to hate. And that's what I was looking for. See, there's a time to love and there's a time to hate. The one that you not in Jesus Christ, they balance love and hate and they weigh it in the earth man okay they weigh their judgment in the earth they balance love and hate mercy and wrath so whatever happens whether you have, whether you have a so-called successful and uh you know uh prosperous life or you are having hell catching hell you know going through hard times and suffering all right that's all the hand of the heavenly father working uh working his judgment in the earth that's something i had powerful uh romans 6 and 23 and this is just this is romans 6 and verse 23 and it reads for for the wages of sin is death but the gift of the most high is eternal life through yahweh shah hamashiach our lord right the wages of sin is death then a brother look that word up wages in the blue letter this is Proverbs 28 and 5. Evil men understand not judgment. Evil men understand not judgment, meaning they don't understand how the most high works. Uh, go ahead. But they that seek the Lord understand all things. We understand all things. We understand the balance, right, of how the most high uh, operates, you know? Beautiful. Go ahead. This is Zephaniah 3 and 5. The just. Lord is in the midst thereof, and he will not do iniquity. That's sin. He will not do sin. Every morning doeth he bring his judgment to light, and he faileth not, but the unjust know of no shame. And his judgment consists of bad times coming upon the earth. That's what evil means, right? E, e meaning uh, time, ill meaning bad. So, the Lord brings those times upon the earth, all right, for a reason, all right? Get that in second earth. The Lord uh, sent his scourges for a minute. Now get that one. Who got the word wages? And where you getting it from? Uh, I'm getting it from the blue letter. Okay, come. Bob, the shot. All right. And it goes into a soldier's pay allowance. Uh, and it goes into that part, that part of the soldier's support 
given in place of pay and the money in which he is paid wages higher or paid of sin. Charge go. Charges. Charges, man. You know? So the Lord charges you according to these laws that they commitment, man. There's a penalty or there's a reward. There's a reward for keeping the laws that they commitment. And there's a penalty for not keeping them. All right? That's why, and, and the penalty for not keeping them is death. Go ahead. You got something on? It's second edges. Go ahead. This is second edges, chapter 16, verse 19. Behold, famine and plagues, tribulation, anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. See that? Sent as scourges for amendment. Who's sending them? The Heavenly Father, man. Matter of fact, where you at? Second Edges, what? 16. 16. And we're going to read a little bit more on that. Because uh, where you at exactly? I'm at verse 19. Verse 19. You might have to go up a little bit, right? Because uh, it talk about the Lord sending the plagues and sending the things. Go up until you get to where it say the Lord. Wherever you see it say the Lord is. Because we're going to deal with who's sending them. Right? Verse 11. Yeah. Yeah. This is uh, Second Edges, chapter 16, verse 11. The Lord shall threaten, and who shall be utterly beaten to powders at his presence. Right, and that's talking about when the Lord comes to bring the ultimate judgment. All right? And he come, uh, he come, as he says, not to meet thee as a man. When he come with that, uh, with that God-like, lion-like power, you know, when he come in the fullness of his power, when he come as that lion, he come be on those, uh, chariots that they know as UFOs. They gonna be shooting lasers out, turning people to power, just like you see in those, uh, certain movies with aliens invading the earth, like War of the Worlds, when they shoot out their laser beams and people just turn into powder, that's the power of the most high. To make you uh, uh, evaporate into being there, so to speak, right? It said the Lord shall do that. Read it again from the top and keep going. This is 2nd Edges, chapter 16, verse 11. The Lord shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder in his presence? Go ahead. The east from the deep, the ways of it are troubled. And the fishes thereof also, before the Lord and before the glory of his power. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shoot are sharp. And those arrows are going to come in the form of thermonuclear missiles, man. That's the judgment that's coming upon America, all right? The Lord sending thermonuclear missiles to destroy this entire country. Go ahead. It shall not miss. When they began to be shot into the ends of the world. Right, and America is the end of the world. Okay, America is the last empire that's going to rise up in the earth and to commit this wickedness that it's been doing, man. This is this is Esau Edom, who is the wicked. This is his last kingdom. All right? This is his last hoorah. Go ahead. Behold, the plague. didn't know Esau Edom is the so-called self-proclaimed white man. All right, because he's not white, he's red. All right, and that's one of the greatest lies ever revealed. Go ahead. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consumes the foundation of the earth, like as like as an arrow. And what's the foundation of the earth in this time? America. America is the foundation of. The, the, the world and, and their policies and the way that the earth moves, America is their foundation. The whole uh, world and their countries are adopting the ways of America, okay? Coming to live in America. And what does America push? Wickedness. Go ahead. Like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer. With the knuckles. Yeah, how shines that mighty archer? Because his spirit gonna be in a missile. Alright? He's the he's the uh one that's ultimately uh he's the one that ultimately brings forth the judgment that the heavenly father has ordained. 
right? He's the chief judge. Go ahead. Even so, the plagues that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return again. The plagues that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return again. So when those thermonuclear missiles destroy America, they're not cut. America is not coming back. All right. Once they are launched from these other countries, uh, from the east, right? Because you're gonna have Russia, China, North Korea. All right. All these uh, uh, countries are going to. Uh, turn on America and destroy it with thermonuclear missiles. Go ahead. Woe is me. Woe is me. Who would deliver me in those days? That's the prophet Ezra saying, woe is me, woe is me. As he got the visions from the angel, he saw these things happening. And he saw it happening in such a uh, great magnitude, he thinking, well, what I'm going to do in that day? You know? Because back then, men understood reincarnation. You know? Go ahead. The beginning of sorrows in great mourning. The beginning of sorrows in great mourning. Go ahead. The beginning of famine in great death. The beginning of famine in great death. Which all these things are going to lead up to the final judgment. All right? Those things are going on right now as we speak. You know, famine, great death, people in, in sorrow and in mourning. All right? Why? Because of their, their living conditions. Go ahead, bro. Have peace up. This is Ezekiel 75. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Bashai, and evil and only evil behold is come. Yep, bad times. Bad times only is come. Go ahead. And end is come. The end is come. And it watcheth for thee. Behold, it is come. Yep. This is the prophet Ezekiel prophesied thousands of years ago. Alright? About the end coming, man. You know, and Jake said, well, people been talking about the end of the world, you know, I don't know how to, because they don't believe. They don't believe, man. They don't believe that the Lord's going to come back in our time. All right? But if they were in tune with the Holy Spirit and the true understanding of the Holy Bible, they'll see the things that the Lord is saying happening in real time. That's what's giving us uh, the fuel to come out here and warn you. Because we see these things and we are bound by, the, bound by the Heavenly Father to come out here and warn you before these things happen to get the blood off of our hands. All right? Go ahead. Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear woo, the people mourn. You got it all. All right, so the people... It's morning. Why? Because the wicked is in rulership, man. These people is not happy. You know, they're not happy. They they depressed. You know, they depressed about their living situation. They want their living conditions, man. Because everything going up here without blood and great, man. Food going up, everything, prices going up except for paycheck. Everything except for your salary. Everything. So this the whole up is mourning. The animals mourn us, the people mourning. Why? Because the wicked is in rulership, man. That's why when the kingdom heaven come. We start with our Lord and Savior, Hawashah, and uh, the Israelites, the, the, all the, uh, the whole earth going to be rejoicing, man. Going to return back to you the know? righteous order in the earth. Yep. The heathens going to rejoice. <laughs> yep. We ain't going to stand on concrete pavements no more. You know what I'm saying? All this man-made artificial food, you know, uh, adoption, I mean, not adoption, abortion. Ain't none of that going to be going on, man. All right? You got to worry about catching the disease. Uh, when you lie with a woman and the Lord say be fruitful and multiply, man. That's supposed to be uh, a pleasure. You're not supposed to have nothing weighing in on your conscience about a pleasure that the Lord ordained and really uh, commanded you to have. You see, women don't know their natural order, their natural use. You, a woman in ancient times was, was supposed to uh, cherish bringing birth, bringing life into this world, even having babies, man. You know what I'm saying? And now it's time. These women ain't nothing but whores for the most part. And if they do have a child, they're looking, looking at it as a trap to catch a man for child support, so forth and so on. You got very few, very, very few, very, very, very few women that cherish life, man. And that ain't my word. So matter of fact, get, uh, get, get Ecclesiastes. Finish reading that. Load up Ecclesiastes 7.26 uh, and also get through the woman uh, 
all. We all down. Go ahead. It's back at Second Andrews, chapter 16, verse 18. The beginning of sorrows in great mourning. The beginning of famine in great death. The beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear. The beginning of wars. This world, we at the brink of World War III. Aren't you, are you not paying attention? The Bible said these are the times, signs of the last days, the signs of the end. Go ahead. The beginning of evils, what shall I do when these evils shall come? Yeah, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What can you do when 200 million missiles hit America? What can you do? Right? The number is 200,000 times a thousand. That's what it says it's going to hit America. That number is in the scriptures. Load that up too. Go ahead. Behold, famine and plagues, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. Right. So the Lord sent these times to get a change out of the people put you in these positions to where you have no choice but to find a higher power, to seek a higher power, to seek salvation, man. He said, at least I tell you the pieces and there'll be none to deliver. He, he said, it pleased him to bruise his own son. Right? Because that's what scourges are. Scourges is the Lord pretty much, excuse my French, whipping our ass. You know? When you find yourself uh, getting sick or when you find yourself uh, 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 struggling to pay bills, whatever, family members dying, you know what I'm saying? Those issues come from the Lord, man. Yeah. Everything, whatever you go through in society, it's already preordained by the Heavenly Father, man. It's still in your structures. Yep. You know? Yep. That's ultimately the Lord directing you on the path that he will have you go. Now, he's either going to allow you to enter in at that straight gate and that narrow path to make it to the kingdom of heaven and survive the ultimate destruction that's coming to this place. Matter of fact, hey, some people are hearing this and say, well, I'm going to flee out of America and I'm going to move to another country. Guess what? Other parts of the country where wicked people are in rule and wicked people are dwelling, it's going to be hit as well. Okay? Or you could die the train crash. That's right. <laughs> so the Lord, he, he got your number. You can't escape his judgment. Keep on, brother. Verse 20. But for all these things, they should not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Right, so an individual like that who don't take heed to the word and don't pay attention uh, to the Lord chastising them. He's a bastard, you know? The Lord said, why should thou be stricken anymore, right? So someone who refuses to hear the word, the Lord said, let them be a castaway, you know? Uh, let them be, uh, what is it, Ana anathema maranatha, man. Cursed to death. So the Lord put curses on people, man, right? <laughs> Go ahead, bro. That was it on that. Yeah, that was it. Go ahead, brothers. This is Ecclesiastes 7 and verse 26. And the reason I find more bitter than death, the woman. This is King Solomon, who had 1,000 women, 700 wives, and what is it? Was it 300 wives and 700 concubines, right? 3,000. 3,000 wives. He had a 1,000. Yeah. 700 wives, 300 concubines, yeah. right? So he dealt with a lot of women, right? And he said out of, out of a thousand, he found out one, uh, one good. And out of a thousand men, he only found one, one man good. So read that again and then uh, get that what I just quoted. Go ahead, bro. Read Ecclesiastes 7 and 26. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 7. In verse 26, in the reach, I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets and her hands as bands. Whoso pleaseth the Most High shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. Right. You see? Go ahead. This is Rock 25 and 24. 
of the woman came in the beginning of sin, and through her, we all die. Right, and this is what you ultimately have in America, is it's not a kingdom, it's a queendom, right? Well, you got a whole lot of women in rulership positions, uh, government official positions, you know, you got women uh, fighting in the UFC, you know, women are out of order. These women don't know how to cook a meal, don't know how to sew, don't know how to do any of the, 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 the natural things that women are supposed to do. Women don't even really know how to be feminine because they have uh, took on the role of the man and the men have took on the role of the women, man. Okay? Everything's turned upside down because the dominion of the earth is in the hands of the wicked. And the wicked is contrary to all the ways of righteousness of the Heavenly Father. Go ahead. Who got something? I'll read that next verse. Go ahead. This is Rock 25 and 25. Give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman liberty to gather abroad. Right. Get there in Ecclesiastes where it says, out of one, uh, out of a thousand, he has not one, not one. You know? This is Ecclesiastes 7 and verse 27. Read up. Read up like loud. Ecclesiastes 7 and verse 27, and it reads, Behold, this I have found, saith the preacher, count one to find out the, the account. Verse 28, which yet my soul seeketh, but I find not, I find not one man among a thousand have I found, but a woman among those have I not found. Right. So it said among a thousand men he have found uh, but one righteous. Right. And among women he ain't found not, not one. Right? Because ultimately the most high he deal with men. He don't deal with the woman. Get uh, Revelation and get uh, Isaiah, right? Unto uh, you, O oh, men, I call. See, the, the women are supposed to be dealt with uh, under the man. They're supposed to serve the man. That's what a woman is, all right? A help me for the man. The word woman means uh, a servant, right? And the order is the... Uh, uh, the man is supposed to rule over the woman, right? Watch yourself. Train right there. Yeah. This is Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 4. And it reads unto you, O man, I call. There we go. Proverbs. Go ahead. And my voice is to the sons of men. I think it's in Revelation 21. Read that again. This is Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 4. And it reads unto you, O man, I call, and my voice is to the sons of man. All right, now get Job 39, right? Get Job 39 and 13, I believe, right? The Lord said his voice is to the sons of to men. Unto you, O man, I call, right? Because metaphorically speaking, the men of Israel is the Lord's woman. Go ahead. You see? Where you at? Job 39 and You want to talk about the woman? <laughs> no, uh-uh. Mm -hmm. You say he has deprived her of wisdom. I heard you go. This is Job 39, verse 17. There we go. Because the most I had deprived her of wisdom, neither had he imparted to her understanding. Right. So the Lord did set the woman up with the judgment, he set the man up with the judgment and the woman was supposed to follow the lead of the man. That's why it says in Sirach 25, of the woman uh, came the beginning of sin and through her we all die because Eve was in the transgression, all right? And Adam was in the transgression when he followed behind the woman. So the society that we live in today is still going after that serpent seed, all right? That philosophy that that seed, that that, that that philosophy that that serpent instilled in the woman is still, you know, 
in progress. All right? That's why you, when you come uh, to New York, they got a, a statue of a woman erected, you know, uh, Lady Liberty, you know. And even in the scriptures, these places were personified as a woman, as a, uh, a whore, all right? Virgin daughter, go ahead. Keep going up on her? That was that, go ahead. Right. You got something? Yeah. Go ahead. This is First Timothy chapter 2, verse 14. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. See, Adam was not deceived, but the woman. See, Adam was pretty much uh, simply. He was yeah. seduced. And you know Eve was fine. He, he knew, the serpent knew he couldn't get Adam. He knew to go after the woman because the woman was the weaker vessel. Weaker vessel. Right, that's why uh, Apostle Bar and our apostles, they bring it out. When you really go into that word feminine, it means without faith. You break down feminine, it means without faith, man. And that's why when you ever see, like, uh, any of these movies or you catch any situations where a man and a woman, a couple in a tight jam, it's always the woman that's breaking down. Oh, what are you going to do? What are you, you going to do? You know, and the man trying to stay calm and, 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 and lead, you know what I'm saying, and pretty much rely on faith to get out. But the woman going to continually complain and, uh, you know, bitch and gripe, you know. <laughs> when you think about what Adam really was going through, man, that bitch was probably bugging the shit out of him. Yeah, harassing him about uh, eating that fruit. Right. And the fruit wasn't no apple. It wasn't literally fruit, man. All right, all right. It was the it was the knowledge of wickedness. That's what it was, man. Go ahead. Verse fifteen. Philosophy. Go ahead. Go ahead. Verse fifteen. The now with the fruit of lies. Go ahead. <laughs> Verse fifteen. Now withstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing if they continue in faith, in charity, in holiness with severity. Right, she shall be she shall be saved in childbearing. Like I was saying earlier, the, 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 the glory of bringing uh, babies into the world, giving life, that's supposed to be uh, something that a woman cherishes. You know, you just had this, uh, what is it, Wade versus, uh, Roe versus Wade, you know, trial, dealing with abortion, and then they turn around and reverse it. You know? Showing you that this place is slack concerning judgment, right? Real quick, give me uh, Habakkuk. Uh, wrong judgment proceeding, right? Go ahead. I got an example. This Habakkuk chapter 1, verse 4. Therefore, the law is slack. The law is slack. And judgment doeth never go forth. And judgment doeth never go forth. For the wicked doeth compass about the righteous. For the wicked has compassed the righteous. The wicked are, uh, have surrounded the righteous. The wicked have us in uh, in their hands. They have us at their uh, disposal, so to speak. Right? Is your phone dying? It's on 20%. Okay. Look it up. <laughs> you got to go in the history. You 
brother has a lot of blood on him. And the so-called self-proclaimed white man, who is the leniency, all right, the ruler at this current time, all right, he has shed the most blood, all right, because lies cause bloodshed. You see that? Lies cause bloodshed, man. Jump down to verse 6 real quick. It's all got it, people, Dodge. It's Hosea 4 and 6. Our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Go ahead. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou should be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. I will also forget thy children. Why have we forgotten the law of the supreme power of earth? Because the current of uh, uh, earth that we are living under is ruled by Satan. The adversary, the physical counterpart of the spiritual being of Satan, being the so-called self-proclaimed white man, beginning with the elites, all right, the 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 the, the banking, the bankers, all right, because whoever controls the money, right, <laughs> control the people. Go ahead, Dawson, you got it now. This is Nahum chapter three and verse one, and it reads, "Woe to the bloody city! It is full of lies and robbery." The prey the part of the nut. We are the prey, right? And as a whole, right? So-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Spanish, the majority of you have not departed from the lies, all right? The robbery, all right? The education system, the things that they taught you in, 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 the, in the education system was to benefit them. That's why they made you pledge allegiance. Well, you knew what allegiance meant. Well, you knew what it meant to pledge. At five years old, you was you was learning words that you didn't even understand until about the fourth or fifth grade. Why? Because they were tapping into your soul. They tapped into your soul, made you perform a ritual for 13 years if you graduated high school. If you got if you graduated with a diploma from high from you know from K through 12th grade. For 13 years, I remember them every morning, you got to wake up and pledge your allegiance. And by the time I got to about the 7th, 8th grade, I was like, man, this is bullshit. My spirit is like, why am I going to stand up saying this? There's a reason. And that's because you are the prey. They set the trap. By the time you go on with the philosophy that they teach you in America for so long, you, you end up with the Stockholm Syndrome. You're not able to depart from those uh, things that he instilled in education, those things that he uh, in your mind. Brainwashing. This Proverbs 22 and 6. Train up a child in the way, and he shall go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Right, train up a child in the way that he should go. And when he is old, he shall not depart. See? These evil men, they know that. They know that. They know the, the, the best time to get you under their uh, witchcraft, under their spell, is when you look. That's the spirit, because I was just thinking about SpongeBob. The SpongeBob is really uh, a homo, a mo. And that's kids love Spongebob. Come on, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Galatians chapter 4, verse 26. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. Yep. Jerusalem, which is above, is free, is the mother of us all. So, like I was saying, we come to Jerusalem, bro. You know? That's what we from. That's the mother land. That's where all, uh, I can tell you that uh, Africa is the motherland, and that's where all civilization began. That's a lot. All civilization began in Jerusalem, in Israel. That's where uh, the garden was eastward. That's where they say eastward. The garden eastward in Eden. Because Eden really was just a name for the entire earth. But eastward and Eden is talking about Jerusalem. Israel, that's where civilization begin, all right? And that's, uh, that's still 
That's the holy man. So why would civilization not be doing that? Go ahead, brother. This is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 2. But have renounced the hidden things dishonest. Start at one. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 1. Therefore, seeing we have the ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not, but have re renounced the hidden things of dishonest. Not we have, we have renounced, renounced the hidden things of dishonesty. We have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty. Go ahead. Not walking in craftiness, nor having the word of the Most High deceitfully. Give me Daniel 22. But manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man conscious in the sight of the Most High. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, whom the God of this world had blinded the minds of them which believe not. See that? You know what that said? It said the God of this world has blinded the minds of them that believe not. So if you don't believe in what we're teaching, which is the truth, the God punished
know, that we know about, but we ain't never seen the reference. You know? Because the Most High fulfilled these things to us. Certain things that leaked out. Like, we were supposed to find out that we was the, the chosen people of the Most High. They've been knowing that. When they brought, when they brought us over here on Cargo Slave Ship, guess what they were saying they had to sell? Ebos. Ebos go back to Hebrews. Then they start switching it up, calling us Negroes. Right? Go ahead, bro. In Deuteronomy 29 and 29, the secret things belong unto the Lord our power. For those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever, that we may do all the words of this law. That's it. That's what it's all about. The Lord wants us to come back start keeping his laws, statutes, and commandments in his ways. That's how you depart from this place. But this place don't push righteousness. This place don't push uh, Leviticus, the 11th chapter, dealing with the dietary laws. None of Leviticus. None of Deuteronomy. None of, they, don't, they don't keep none of God's laws, man. This place is, is surrounded with wickedness. The whole world lies in wickedness, man. Hey, stop, bro. Go ahead, bro. This is Luke chapter 4 and verse 6, and it reads, Ye were sold to the nation, not for your destruction, but because ye moved the most high to wrath, ye were delivered unto the enemy. Yep, and that's, that's the whole you know, story of us as a nation of people. Because the Bible really, the Bible really is about the Heavenly Father, His Son, and His people. You know? This is the covenant and the covenants that we have. This is the Luke chapter 4. It's in verse 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 4. Chapter 4, verse 4. I have to go ahead and get her up. Let's go. Happy are we for the things that are pleasing unto the Most High are made known unto us. Right. Happy are we because the things that are pleasing to the Most High are revealed unto us. Our people, for the most part, the majority of our people have no idea what it means to please the Most High. Let's get, uh, we're going to wrap it up. Let's get, uh, Ecclesiastes 12. 13, 14. Yeah, we're about to go about an hour off. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. We're gonna go ahead and wrap it up right here. So Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Hear the most high and keep his commandments. Hear the most high and keep his commandments. It's more than ten commandments, man. Go ahead. For yeah. this for well, this is the whole duty of man. This is the whole duty of man. Go ahead. For the most I shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing. There it is. He's going to bring every work into judgment with every secret thing. And that's what's being drawn right before your eyes. Go ahead. Whether it be good or whether it be evil. Whether it be good or whether it be evil. So with that, Lord will you will edify and turn it back towards me. Now praise the glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shabbat, Shem, the Right, Yahweh, 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 Yahweh,